Hey there, gorgeous gays! Version 2 here with Splatoon 3. Today is a day where we are doing some ranked matches. Um, pretty much everything I've done Splatoon on stream uh, in, in the last while has just been doing fucking whatever. Um, when a big important thing happens, like so, uh, single player and doing after all turno or Splatfest, stuff like that. But I actually have the time where I could just fucking stream today. But it is still a big important day. We're gonna hit level 30 today, and I'm gonna get the big locker, and the ball points flatling, and I'm gonna pog, and then we're gonna pog even harder, because I'm level 97 on the catalog! We're so fucking close! It is November 26th as of, um, as of now, um, so, yeah, as you can see, oh, the, the drizzle season's out there, we, have, we don't have long left, uh, so we're gonna get it, uh, the goal is to try and get to this today, but we're gonna do ranked, so... Yeah, hopefully. And then if I don't, I'm just gonna go and do some turf war until we get it, cause you're bad at ranked, but it's splat zones, so it might go slightly better. It won't. But we're gonna see how it goes. That's our plan for today. Do some rains, cause you know, I basically never touched rank um for videos or just in general in um the last two games, and I basically haven't touched rank uh since you know we did a stream for it. And maybe I should learn how to do modes in this game that aren't turf war. Don't get me wrong, I love turf war, but. I should probably learn the other ones as well. Also, um, this is happening today. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, this is now the meme. <laughs> well, that's just that's just a cute drawing of uh, Harmony um, there being told to die. Um, that's a twerking Among Us because, of course. Um, okay, there was wait. The timer, like, just switched over, where there was so many more of them. No, is this all good drawings? Where's, where's the things? There was so many of them. Why it's Mr. Sat- There, well, that's the same one I just, I just showed. Where are they? D -d -d nope, that's just buckets of acid, it seemed. Hey, hey, little buddy. There we go! There's another one. There's, I don't know what is happening. Um, but this is, this is happening. <laughs> I, I don't know what this is. I don't know where this started. I have no idea what's going on, but but yeah, that's <laughs> That's now a thing. That's now a thing that's happening Full of genocidal thoughts. All right, then so, you, got, you got some people who are just like actually talented and then this just keeps happening. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on So like you can definitely see when the memes like spread <laughs> It's for two three but, but I, I, I feel like this is one of the big examples of just, yeah, the entire player base is just uh, sharing a single brain cell today of just whatever this is. I don't know where, I, I like, oh, put on Marina. I have no idea where this has come from, but all right. Yep, that's just, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I don't know what is going on, but it's just, like there's so many of them. There's so many of them, and some again, some people are just actually talented at drawing. But then I'm just like this half of the fucking half of the fucking plaza right now. Is uh, okay. Well, that's a reference to that thing. Make him an emo. I'd have to draw my own. I I don't know what on earth is that. That's more advanced than the other ones. What the fuck is this? All right, that's happening. Welcome to the stream, Kraus, by the way. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So we're gonna go and do some ranked, and we're gonna do polio ranked. That's the important thing. Oh, I saw the stream yesterday when I was playing. It, there's, the, there's the person who actually did it. Just took a, just a really good drawing of um, Agent 3. I saw it all the time, we're just running around on maps. I'm just like, oh my god, I, can't, I, just, I saw it so many times. I'm like, oh my god, it's good. So um, we're gonna go in with Splatshot Jr. I feel this is now my weapon in the game. Um, if you... No, that's the wrong buttons. No, I didn't mean it. Go back in. If I, if I show you my thing... Love it, I, I, I don't know what you're throwing Go play ranked loads of tier lists. Uh, make current ranks the characters. Not that kind of ranked. But maybe I should. Also, welcome back here. Um, yeah, I've got four stars of freshness on this again. Which is, like, now the same as my arrow spray. Uh, since that Splatfest, I've become a Splattershot main. And I've honestly been doing way better uh, with it than the other thing. 
Um, can you do? Yeah. You, okay. Yeah. I was, yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, Anarchy, yeah, Sirius is one that you can't do with friends, but you can do Anarchy with friends. I have no idea if anyone's online. No one is online right now, so never mind. <laughs> but I'm gonna play some fucking Splat Zones on Hagglefish Market and Museum Delfonso, so, you know, it'll go great. It'll go great. <laughs> I really need to, I really need to make the emote of that. Where it goes, blah, 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 blah. That's just the Madeline sprite, but yours is a dog instead. Yours is a dog instead. You know what I could do to lean into... You know what I could do if I wanted unique sprites for my channel that kind of represent everything, but also, like, it's all my own character instead of just other video game characters? I could just have every emo. It's just Minifest, but pretending to be characters from other games. So I could do Minifist doing that. I could do Minifist doing the uh, the Violet Dance. That's an idea. That is an idea. This song really reminds me of uh, reminds me of Edge by Perfume. What song? Was there a song playing just then? I have my game really quiet. I should probably turn it up a little bit. I should probably turn it up a little bit. I couldn't even hear a song playing just then. All right, here we fucking go. So yeah, um, the new season's really soon, by the way. I would like to do some, uh, turf warring, um, as well next week for that. So, how Hagglefish Market, does this have one of- It's one gigantic fucking splat zone. Okay. I was gonna do a bunch of painting, because, uh, specials. They're in control! Fuck off they are! Fuck it! Fuck off they're in control! Fuck you! Booyah! Alright. So, this is going well. Jesus Christ, how fucking suit up did you do that bubbler? Jesus! Look how far into their base they've done bubbles. Oh, it's much of coming from down here. Just gotta keep him away and we're fine. Whee! Oh, Jesus. Alright, well, you're dead. Goodbye! Booyah bomb! Booyah bomb! <laughs> ah, you did a bomb, you didn't even capture the fucking zone! Alright, now it's time for this. Now it's time for this. Splat time, hey, doodles! Oh, Jesus. Okay, well... There we go. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, blah, blah. We're gonna get out of here. Bye, bye, bye. There we go. There we go. Ba, 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 I'm dead. And there we go! There we go! What? Wow, really? <laughs> that was easy. Octal is taken, but it's minor fist. So it's just minor fist taken, it's just her face in the background. Still the single most obscure um, specific emote on Twitch. <laughs> that still exists and I haven't got rid of it. Because it's because it's awesome. Eight points! Fuck yeah! Only 207 more to the next rank. <laughs> okay, so we got a lot we got 2500 um points for that. Okay. So you get a, okay. So wins you do get a lot for. You definitely get like way more um catalog and experience points for wins. That, I mean that's that's kind of the thing in general with ranks. If you're looking for cash and points uh, and like um, leveling up and things like that, ranked is good and better than so far if you can win. That's kind of the trade-off. That's that's why I usually play. I mean, other than the fact that I'm not great at ranks. The main reason I stick with Surfball so much is... I just enjoy playing the game at all. So if I'm playing the game, I'm like also just thinking about like overall long-term progress of you know, leveling up a weapon, trying to get gear, um, stats rolled and stuff like that, trying to get money at the moment, like leveling up, getting catalogs, uh, levels and stuff like that. And Surfball is just way more consistent with that. Because at least with Surfball, if you cover like 400 points of Turf, and finish the match, you're you're gonna at least get like 800 points. So it's at least guaranteed every time. Where if you get knocked out in ranked, I don't know if you get anything. <laughs> so, like there's that. <laughs> but that just means you have to win. Four wins is the kind of look level in this. Where it definitely takes more than four wins of Turf War to level up. It's just, you know, when you win. Where is the zone? Okay, it's just down the middle there. Okay. 
Get out of here! Ow. I didn't even notice you were shooting at me. <laughs> Shit, okay. Oh, I might have gotten like one tiny speck of damage from the sprinkler and then that was a 96. That's the thing with the uh, with the, the 96. Any splash damage means it kills you. Pretty much guaranteed. If you're wondering why it's got a 96 gas, because it does 96 damage per shot. Same with the 52 gas. It's kind of, you know, the thing. Oh, oh okay. Have, <laughs> okay. Okay, this map is... Okay, this is a lot harder than Hagglefish. This is a lot harder than Hagglefish to defend. Because if they just stand up there, it's a great spot for them. But if they're standing there trying to attack you, it's really hard to defend from, from there. Okay. Did we just lose? Oh yeah, we lost control. There we go. Not quite timing. Oh no, I got someone. I got someone. <laughs> I've, I've been trying to get my skills up at that. Of um, rolling out bombs right as someone jumps in. I'm, tr I'm trying to I'm trying to focus on the, the, the specific strengths that um the the junior has and leaning into it as much as I can. I very much like the junior. Oh Jesus! How many ink storms do you? Oh, you got two blob lovers. I was, I was about to say, how do you have so many fucking ink storms? They have two blob lovers. I gotta say, splat zones. I, I feel like we're gonna see a lot of blob lovers uh, actually right now. I feel like blob lover is great for splat zones. Did we? Did, wait, did we win? I didn't even realize we were that close to winning. Wait, did we actually get a knockout just then? I thought we had way more time left. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I thought we had way more time. Oh. Nice. That one was brutal. So was the, well, so was the last one. I don't think I did much that time. Actually, no, I, I, I helped disperse when all those people were jumping in. <laughs> I got one of the kills and other people were helping us there as well. Eight points. <laughs> eh. Yeah, we're level 30! We're level 30! Now we just have to get to um, 100 for the catalog. That much took just barely longer than I took uh, Steve to open up on my computer. <laughs> I, we have a good team right now. I'm going to stick with this team. They're carrying me hard. <laughs> no, I, I, I am playing Junior. I am playing Junior. And I have like actually gotten um, good with this weapon. I'm still not great at aiming, which is why I'm still always playing- uh, I'm always gonna play fucking shooters. Um, and stuff like that. Um, like, there's no way- they've shown off some of the new weapons that are gonna be added with, um, the next season, the chill season. And, like, there's no way I'm gonna play that charger. I don't care if a charger holds five shots per charge. I'm not gonna hit with any of those five shots. Though, though I will say, the splatter shot Nova does, um, definitely seems cool. <laughs> splatter shot, um, splatter shot Nova definitely seems interesting. I like the idea of a long-range um, splatter shot that isn't the pro. Because it definitely seems to fire faster than the pro. And the pro's getting a weapon set that actually works! Wow. And, uh, and uh, Mini Splatling is getting um, Toxic Mist, which seems to have pissed off half of the people who like Mini, Zapl um, mini Splatling and uh, made the others fall in love with it, so, you know. <laughs> That's the thing with weapon sets for uh, weapons in this game, is that it's so hard to like get that balance of just like which one do you want to uh, like, which fan, <laughs> which fans are gonna like and hate which weapons they've got for that. Okay, well, that person's got like actual or properly finished um, armor, uh, like gear. I don't have that yet. <laughs> All of my gear. Wow. Wow. Okay. Overwhelming firepower as we come out there. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. That's a problem. Wow. Okay. Um, uh, okay. How do we- how do we stop them from doing anything with this shit? How do we- <laughs> Fuck off! Okay, we need to get rid of the wake breaker. Shit. <laughs> okay. We're fighting a team that knows what they're doing. Fuck. Oh, uh, no, that's okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, wait, there's a thing there. Nope, never mind. Fighting a team who knows what they're doing. Jesus Christ! Okay. <laughs> okay. Is this what we were doing to people in the last matches? I'd say we gotta go in as a team and that's like our issue, but no! We are going as a team! We're just all dying immediately! 
Every single one of us is just dying immediately. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck you. Come on. Ah, goddammit. <laughs> What well, was my go-to weapon for um uh, for this world? Ink so force them out of zone and covering is very useful. Stop Madden. Yeah, no, I imagine it'd be incredible. It's we're gonna see a lot of it. <laughs> we're gonna see a lot of it. We're gonna see a lot of it, definitely. So that's what pe that's what we were doing. Wow, that person's really leaned into Rockenberg. <laughs> they got Rockenberg boots and a jacket, Rockenberg model in their name, and they have the Rockenberg logo. Um, as a badge. They've leaned heavily into it. Incredible. They kicked our ass. <laughs> God, open mode is really what you play if you just don't want your rank to be affected. <laughs> like, we're gaining eight and losing two per match. You're talking about a couple hundred. Like, it's just... <laughs> if you actually want to level up and risk not leveling up or leveling down, you do a series. If you just want to play the ranked game modes without stressing too much about progress being lost or gained, you play open. Which is why I'm playing open right now. And also I'm playing open right now because it's uh, Splat Zones, which for properly diving into ranked, I probably want to start there. Um, because the other ranked that's going on in series right now, I believe it's Glam Blitz. Um, and uh, I'll pass. <laughs> I like Clam Blitz. The main thing is just I need to learn the maps and how they function for Clam Blitz. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I gotta learn the maps and uh, learn where things are. Like, Splat Sirens is just like, okay, it's Turf War, but it's purely about contesting metal, and I've done that enough to, to know how um, it works. Though I've not touched Rainmaker in this game. Which I believe Rainmaker is different in this game. I think Rainmaker's like tower control now, where it has checkpoints. Like, it's not just get to the end and then you hit it there. You have to hit the checkpoints in order for Rainmaker. I think I could be wrong. Or maybe it just has the option of checkpoints to lock in. Um, but they're not required. I'm not sure. I've seen that it's apparently different. Okay, we've now waited like a minute and a half. But I love the liquid sounds of this game. The goopy liquid sounds as we swim around. There we go. There we go. Like, I want to play modes in this game other than Turf Wars. Stop incredibly bad at ranked. So, the, okay, the main thing for me why I'm bad at ranked is is the reason that, like, I have to play certain roles when I play Turf, um, turf War. I'm incredibly bad at aiming in the game. <laughs> anything, anything that I do, I have to work around the fact that I can't aim for shit in this game. And that's, like, the problem. Come on, just get it first. There we go, nice. <laughs> just a little bit more of this and I can put a bubble in front. There we go, fuck. Oh, fucking, oh, shit. No, be a bomb. Oh, nice. Okay, they're already placing down um, beacons. Nice. I still have absolutely no idea how the extra time thing works in, um, these, uh, in any of these modes. I don't know why. I, I feel like I never understand why it does or doesn't happen. Like, I, I don't, I just, it, it's a, it's a, it's a mystery to me what it means. Rainmaker's been currently removed because of bugs and such, I believe. Wait, seriously? Like, it just doesn't exist? Wow. 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 So, it just got completely broken. They're just like, alright, just, we'll wait. We'll bring it back. What killed me? Oh, Julius Squatch. I was about to say, I, I didn't see anything else coming towards me except for the fucking, um, Wave Breaker. And I know the Wave Breaker didn't hit me. Unless lag was really aggressively awful. Oh fuck off. Ah oh, Jesus Christ! Okay. <laughs> so we were doing well. The game lulled me into a false sense of security at the start. Oh my god, get the fuck out of here. Fuck off. I'm feeling like every match of this today is gonna go is going to be um God damn it. Clean wipes one way or the other. <laughs> I feel like every one of these is gonna last a minute long in either direction. It 
it definitely seems to be for this map, if you have good control of mid, the other team just gets fucked. <laughs> definitely seems to be the case. It seems it's very easy to control it once you have a good control of it. Like, if you push the others away from it, then it's very hard for them to approach. Which, some maps are like that. Some maps are just, it's very hard to hold mid, um, based on the approach that the enemies have. And some maps, it's just, um, very easy to hold mid. That's just the map-to-map -map thing. So, I'm still getting some points on losses. I think you can just get points based on how much you ink. Or time. Maybe, actually, I think it's time. Like, how many minutes you lost. Like, if you lost one minute, it's one hundred. Two minutes, it's two hundred. I think it's just that. So, you still get some, but not much. <laughs> This is why I, this is why I got to squad up with uh with um people who watch my streams for rank um for ranked because at least then I can ensure that my teammates know what they're doing. So hopefully everyone can carry me. Where if I'm playing now, I'm gonna be bad and I might be with teammates who can't carry me because they are also just as bad as I am. That is possible. That is possible. Which means it's not my fault. If I, if I, I, I said it before and I'll say it again. My skills at this game mean it's never my responsibility if I lose. And it's also never because of me that we win. That's what my skill level is at at this game. I'm a completely neutral force. <laughs> Everyone either carries me enough that we win or doesn't carry me enough and we lose. That's just how it works. There's not many people queuing up for ranked at the moment, it seems. So I want to use Flash Hard Junior because, like, I really like this one. And I know how to use it. Well, how to use it. But I'm wondering if it's worth switching over to Blob Lover. Just do what everyone else is doing. Blob Lover might be worth it. I do really like Blob Lover. I've, though I, though that being said, I've hardly touched it in this game. <laughs> I have hardly touched Blob Lover. Why did I activate that? I'm not using it. I have hardly touched Blob Lover in this game. I need to save all my income. <laughs> nice. Ba -ba -bum, get out of here. Oh, geez. I gotta say, that bubble was pretty effectively. <laughs> That bubble definitely seems to help a lot, like the one that I placed down. Oh, fuck. <laughs> in fact, in fact, at a perfect time, right as I threw a bomb. Did someone kill the ink back before they got to send it off? I didn't see the explosion. Booyah! Booyah bomb! Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Oh, nice! Someone got it back. Actually, actually, I say, I say, someone. Most of our team was there, <laughs> so the team got it back. Oh Jesus! No. Okay. I didn't realize that my teammates were in the process of dying as I jumped in. Yeah, I don't know how this extra time thing works. Like it feels bullshit, but I don't know how it func it like functions in any capacity. So that might just be me not knowing how it works, that it feels like it's bullshit. But I don't know. <laughs> I gotta say, having an ink back for splat zones, kinda genius. <laughs> kinda genius to have um, an ink back for splat zones. Just literally stand right at the edge of it and just, if they try to ink up the zone at all, oops! <laughs> oops, it's gonna drain them away. I wonder if it'd be worthwhile if I'm going to play ranks um, to get like an even more support set. Like one with beacons and shit. <laughs> I, I, I'd say the dapples that Mikey was using, but there's no way I'm using dualies. <laughs> I will never be good at dualies. As much as I love the concept of dualies, I'll never be good at it. I'll, I'll never be good at Oh, god damn it. <laughs> we're six seconds away that we added 57 seconds. I think my brains is on fast forward today. I feel like the time is just like ticking away way faster than I expected. 
Well, I'm just like, wait, holy shit, how? Wait, 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 we're getting wet down that much time already? And then it's just like, oh. <laughs> I'm just not realizing how quick it's going because I'm in like high octane mode of just like, oh, there's all this shit going on. Ah! <laughs> Get out of here, slushing machine. Get out of here, slushing machine. No! No! Come on! Ah! <laughs> Come on! Oh, uh, no! Oh, fuck, I'm not gonna Also, booyah bombs. Booyah bombs are also going to be, uh, <laughs> I feel like a very common sight today. Get it! Oh! They're doing very well with their specials. They're doing very well with their specials. <laughs> oh, we got this. There we go! There we go! Jesus Christ, we had to hold that for so long. <laughs> so that's what I mean with the extra time thing. And overall, we held it for like 200 seconds. <laughs> I don't know. I, like, I'm sure there's some capacity where it does make sense, and there's some reason why it is balanced to do it the way that it, it's done. Just as, just as someone who has hardly ever touched ranked, I don't get it. <laughs> I, I don't get it as someone who's hardly ever touched the mode. Why it functions the way that it does. So how much cash do you get for this? Like, if we win... Do I just get the 2,500 cash? I think I do. I think I do just get 2,500 cash. I think the points that you get for leveling up um, catalog and level is the same as the amount of cash that you get in this mode. Unlike Turf Fall, which is just based on how much you turf. Which is also why it's really easy to stick with shooters all the time. If I'm playing Turf Fall and I want money, well, what if I just stick with the weapons that are usually pretty consistent at getting over 1,000 points of uh, turfing? The timer adds uh, to the opposing team's timer if you uh, lose zone. Um, wait, the timer adds to uh, adds up uh, to the opposing team's timer if you lose um, zone. For example, you have 40 seconds left. The uh, um, the other team has 60. You uh, you lose, so you get 40 plus 20. Also, they are not seconds. A lot faster than that. Okay, well, it explains that they're a lot faster than that. Oh, okay, so it is. Are you sure that's accurate? I don't know if that's accurate. Because we just had it in that match. Where we got it down to like 70. And then it added time. And they got it to like 80. And then it added time to them as well. What song is playing? I do not recognize this song from any of the previous games. I'm pretty sure the lobby music is just music from previous games. I'm pretty sure I've heard like bottom feeders in the music. Or can they both be plus because like it adds up to what your opponent's time is with their plus as well? Because that would make sense. Because it's possible for both teams to be on plus, but I guess it can add up to what the plus value is for both teams. Like, it, it adds up to what your opponent's plus value is as well. That would make sense. And then the question becomes, why does it do that? Again, as, as someone who doesn't play the mode very often, I don't get why it does that. Is it just to really punish you for losing the zone? Is it just about punishing you for losing the zone? So 64 plus 28. Because it went to 100-ish? And then they got 9... I don't know. I don't understand. I thought that was our missiles. I don't know why, but I thought that was our missiles. I'm an idiot. I, is it, I, I guess it's just to incentivize making a play that actually captures the entire zone and you hold to the point as opposed to making a play that's just whatever. Grab it for a second and stop them from grabbing it. 
I guess that's the idea. It's not about just it rapidly flicking back and forth between the two all the time. It's about... Okay, well it ended up killing me. It's about making a play that you actually hold it for as long as you possibly can. No, because 23... 23 plus 52 is not 90. <laughs> 23 plus 52 is... That's... That's 75. So I don't think that's accurate. <laughs> So I don't think that's accurate. How did I not die? <laughs> How did I- oh, I, okay, that, then I just died. <laughs> I don't know if that's accurate. Oh, uh, So I really just don't get it. <laughs> I really just don't get it. I've also- I would also like to keep in mind, I've never looked into it. <laughs> I've never looked into this. Again, ranked is not a mode that I've, like, engaged with much in Splatoon. I'd like to engage with it more in Splatoon 3. I say, this being the second day that I've ever played it. Um, in the entire first se um, season of three months of the game. <laughs> oh, I'm out of ink! I, didn't, I thought I was almost falling before I threw the ball. Because it just means that, like, a team that loses overall held it for more time but again i guess the idea is if you hold it for more time but it's split up it's not as impressive as the other team holding it for a hundred straight <laughs> so the other team still gets the win for it i think is the idea i guess that's the idea like i'm sure it's fine i just don't get it <laughs> i'm not saying it's unbalanced i'm saying i don't get it <laughs> Until I watch, and uh, uh, may maybe until I go and look at the pros, and I watch their YouTube videos talking about the game, and they're just like, yeah, no, it's bullshit, and we've hated it ever since the first game as well, but, you know, <laughs> that's what that's why we play Tower and Rain Makeup, because they don't have that mechanic. <laughs> it's only Splat and, um, Clan that has that, because the others are just purely based on distance. I don't know. Is there, like, a favorite mode amongst, like, professionals? There we go. Is there, like, a mode that, like, pros at the game consider as, like, the true one of it. Like, when they have tournaments, a tournament, do tournaments change up the game mode all the time? Are tournaments based on, like, one specific mode? Again, ranked, again, it's just, it's something I've, for my history of Splatoon, despite playing all the games, it's something I've never engaged with. I'm a turf war person all day. All day. <laughs> No, we are winning. We are still winning. Shit, with all these wins, we're gonna hit 100 way faster than I thought. <laughs> I was really worried that this was gonna go like the last ranked thing, where it's just loss all day, every day, where it's every single match is a loss, so we don't get anywhere. But uh, no, we actually had a few wins. We're gonna be at, we're gonna finish our catalog in no fucking time. Hell yeah! And then I can go play some clam blitz and embarrass myself. <laughs> I don't have a direct favorite, but I do know Clams. Oh no, Clam Blitz is lost. I know, I, I definitely know that Clam Blitz is lost. I find Clam Blitz very fun. I quite enjoy, like, my favorite one to play in Splatoon 2 for ranked was Clam Blitz. But that's because Clam Blitz is just pure fucking chaos. <laughs> and as someone who isn't skilled or well versed in, like, high level play, something that's just pure fucking chaos is funny to me. <laughs> No, yeah, yeah, I definitely know that Clam Blitz is the one that um, pro uh, professionals on high level players just do not give a shit about. <laughs> ever since it, ever since it was put into Splatoon 2, that's been the case. <laughs> it does make me wonder if this game's gonna get another mode. Because there was one new mode added into Splatoon 2, and that was Clam Blitz. And, like, Splatoon 1 had the four modes it was Turf War, Rainmaker Tower Control, and Splat Zones. There was one new mode introduced in Splatoon 2, which was Clam Blitz. Because there is another mode introduced into this game. But that other mode is Tricolor Battle. Which is available for one day every, like, six weeks. So I don't think that counts. Though Big Run is... Big Run is happening at some point in the next season. Big Run is imminent. So there's also that. But I do wonder if just, like, in a year's time or... Um, so... No! 
Like just be, like just after like a year of catalogs or something, we'll just be like, fuck. Look, here's a fifth mode. I don't know what the fuck you do, but <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you do, but I'm sure it's something that people have um definitely like speculated about. Wiki ha has a formula for the penalty zone. Okay, uh, okay, I'm gonna look this up while we're doing this. Because it's also, I don't understand... I don't understand the mentality behind why it exists, either. But it's not even just a case of, I don't understand how it functions. I don't understand why it does it. I also don't get why it happens. Again, unless it is just to incentivize properly holding it for an extended period of time and having one massive push as opposed to just take it back for a couple seconds and slowly chip away at it until the end. Like, that would make sense if that's the mentality behind it. There is math involved, so I'm out. <laughs> Madam, don't you play Fire Emblem? Or do you play Fire Emblem the way I play Fire Emblem, when numbers aren't real? <laughs> because that's fair. Because that's fair. I so desperately need my subsavers. Yes, I already know that I'm playing the Junior, which has a larger ink tank. I want my subsavers, damn it. I want my- oh, goddammit. I want my subsavers. Oh, there was a splat bomb that hit me? I didn't even notice that. This is a stupid idea. Wee! It's all just a stupid idea. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is going poorly. This is going poorly. This is why I never. This is why I never. Um. Squid jump. <laughs> this is why I never squid jump. Ah, oh, Jesus, something behind us. Ah, this is sad bad. Ah, fuck. I was so focused on the blobber behind me that I got fucking stamped. Um, ah, oh, fucking lots of zoom music so much. Ah, oh, God. Again, anything that I'm saying about how ranked works, do not take any of this as, oh, this mode is broken bullshit and that's why I don't play it, or... This is unbalanced or this is unfair. Don't take- ow. <laughs> Don't take any of what I'm saying about ranked mode as that. Literally all of it is I just have no fucking idea. <laughs> if I had to guess across all of my time playing Splatoon, all of my time playing Splatoon, if I had to guess my ratio of um, ranked mode to not ranked mode, I would say it's probably a ratio of 98 to 2. <laughs> if I had to have, like, a rough guess. Alright. Oh my god, the stamp. <laughs> no, I, I played it like you just looking at the health bars. Just the reason why I just made it um, to its get mad again. It's stuck ever since. Fair. 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 Fuck numbers. Who plays video games to pay attention to numbers all day? Okay, there was a fight. <laughs> Ninja Squid actually got me on the sploosh, damn it. <laughs> but yeah. I, I was about to say, I think they were coming at us as well, like in our base. Shit. Oh, we're actually technically ahead. Ah. Well, no, we're not ahead for much longer! Come on! Oh, there was a sip. Was that the fucking. Was the, was the ninja squish there as well? Or is that a, someone else in the Okay, well, we're in control. And they had added a bunch of time to them. Again, I think it's... I, I, I think the mentality is just to incentivize big pushes as opposed to little chips. Which, which definitely makes sense. It definitely makes sense. Because of the... Because, like, if you just get a bunch of paint to put down... You will just take it for a second or two. But you can just throw a triple ink missile at it and just maybe get it for a second. But then the entire team is still just standing there ready to immediately capture it. So they just immediately capture it back. 
also then it's just like, okay, your triple ink strength wasn't that impressive, really. Please die. This blob blobber is very good at dodging my junior shots. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Jesus! <laughs> God, okay. This team is very overwhelming. This team is very overwhelming. They are... They're a lot. <laughs> Fucking this fucking this fucking ultra stamper! Ah, oh, good. I'm always seeing it. Fuck. God. I always thought I always thought the fucking um always thought that ultra stamp was like a bitch of a special and like it didn't do that much. And then I go up against it in fucking, um, this mode, and oh shit, it's actually a fucking problem. How did that person hit me? I swear they fired that range blaster from outside of my sh my shield. I swear they fired it from outside of my shield. I don't know how they hit me with that. Unless they just popped in for a second, and then moved back out. And they technically fired while it was in there, but by the time my screen registered it, it looked like they were outside of it. Oh, do we actually- oh, we actually hit another time. Okay. Oh, 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 come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, yes, come on. No fucking way. No fucking way. <laughs> oh, we did not deserve that. <laughs> oh, no fucking way. <laughs> oh, we did not deserve that win. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Destined such and such. What a title. We did not deserve that. Well fought battle on both behalves, but they were definitely playing better. <laughs> they were definitely playing better. Like, again, I think overall they held it for significantly longer than we did. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Level 99. Um, alright. Stick with this team. I have food to eat, but... I was about to say, I like the team that, I, that, that I'm on. <laughs> Changed the whole time. But... I'll take a team with a Hydra and a Blob Uh, the wiki explanation is as followed. Uh, start, e um, uh, equals points, um, remaining, including penalty. One of the teams, um, gain can, um, gain control, uh, um, and equals points remaining, including penalty. I, uh, I do I cannot understand a thing that is saying. The formatting of seeing that in a Twitch chat Makes me confused of when sentences are starting and ending there, so I need to read it on the wiki. Um... Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, saying that in a Twitch chat doesn't help. Because I don't know, like, when the stops and starts of sentences are. So trying to read it, I don't actually know what, when, like, when's going where. But I've got the page open. I've got the page open, and seeing it formatted not in Twitch chat where it's just a paragraph, um, I can understand it easier. I've just, you know, playing, so it's hard to do that. Ow. <laughs> Hydra, what special does Hydra have? Hydra's either missiles or ink stomach. Or is it, no, I think it's the VR actually. It's the VR, isn't it? Yeah, it's the Booyah! That's what it is. That's why that's why we're saying Booyah so I, I will Al. I will say. I will say. Jumping into this mode, I'm seeing the same weapons way more frequently. <laughs> I feel like whenever I jump into Turf War, any fucking weapon can show up on any team. Um, except for Undercover Brella. Um <laughs> I don't know what it is about the Undercover Brella, but boy, howdy. I, I I was really looking forward to playing it in this game. Uh, and it's not satisfying. It is not satisfying. Uh, it is just not a... <laughs> Everyone's like, it's just confusing. I like my explanation better, even if it's wrong. Well, no, the issue is just I can't, I can't understand the formatting. Like, the way that you link it in chat, I can't tell when, one t when a sentence, like, or description or describing what a variable is stops and starts for different things. <laughs> I can't tell when that stops and starts, so it's hard for me to actually know what's going on. <laughs> That's the issue that I'm having. This thing sucks. 
King Slim is very good at this. Jesus. I didn't realize it was a crab tank. Ah! Crab tank, no! Whee! Oh, God! A tiny little splash of ink behind me and I couldn't walk backwards. Ah! <laughs> I have ink resistance! I have one thing of ink resistance! Ow. <laughs> I'm wondering if I should focus more on ink resistance. Because I've noticed, like, I don't- oh, God. okay. So they're just getting real up in our faces. That's an issue with this map. When, once they start getting up in your faces, it's really hard to get them out of your fucking face. And now they're gonna win because of it. God damn it. <laughs> All right. All right, yep. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> Bastards. <laughs> All right. I'm going to read something that I can actually read as opposed to a paragraph that just fucking works. Penalty for losing control of the zone is calculated as um follows. So defining the variables. Start equals points remaining, including penalty, when the team gains control. Um, which is your team. So, okay. So it uses your original value that you caught it at. at. Um, end is, um, points remaining, including penalty, when the opposition gains control. So it's based on yours at the start and the end of it. Uh, exception, if the team reaches, uh, the tie point later than opposition, and it will be considered as points remaining right before the team loses control tie point, not, um, points remaining when the opposition gains control. Oh, so like if you just get ahead. Okay. Doubling up my money. I'm, I'm always where I'm not gonna win all the time, so I'm not gonna get a shitload of money all the time. How much cash do I actually have? Oh, I have like 80,000. Okay, this mode also gives me some good cash. <laughs> you know, if you win. Penalty applied um, equals 0.75, um, 0.75 times start minus n. Okay. Okay. Okay, I now understand it. I now understand it. Okay. So whatever your value was when you started, minus whatever value you were when you ended, it's 75% of that. Okay. So basically, it's 75% of whatever time you just used. So like if you got it down by 25 seconds, then basically it adds 75% of 25 seconds. Okay. Okay. With slight exceptions based on certain things. Okay. 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 From what I can understand, that's what it is. You know, reading your thing, your thing is accurate. I, it's just really hard for me to work out maths looking at a bunch of words in a paragraph rather than words structured into sentences and paragraphs. <laughs> there, there, there's a big difference in readability for just a, a block of text, which isn't, which is just, that's just something about Twitch. That's just something about Twitch, um, about um, Twitch chat. <laughs> I mean, you, you see that whenever my, um, anyone makes um, a novella um, in my OB, um, in my OBS um, overlay, um, is it is just like, did I get killed by a fucking fizzy bomb? I should retire. Jesus Christ! No one should die to fizzy bomb. <laughs> no one should die to fucking fizzy bomb. What the fuck? All right, I guess I'm just trash at video games. Whoops. I think I'm just bad. I, like, desp- for this mode, I desperately need some sofa. I cannot use- I cannot use splat bombs the way that I want to in this mode with, um, without some sofa. And even then, it'd be difficult. You know, while trying to split my attention between talking, paying attention to the game, playing the game, and reading and stuff like that, 
Uh, it's just amazing how much, like, breaks up in text can make it easier for my brain to pass, um, pass things. And that's just something about being a cookie. Because basically, if, like, if I'm going to, if, like, if I'm going to read chat and it's one really long message, then I'm kind of, like, trying to not focus back on the game until I finish reading the message. Because if I... Oops, later. Because if I'm switching between, like, um, focusing primarily on the game or talking while reading a message, and it's a, and it's like a large thing of text. Whoops. I'll lose track of where I am in the middle of it. It's like I can read people's individual messages cause, like easier because it's broken up. So like I read one message, I, I, I focus a bit. I read a message, I focus a bit. But when it's a giant thing of stuff, then in, the only way for me to really read it without losing track of where I am is to read the whole thing at once. And, well, if I read the entire thing at once, then, you know, <laughs> I basically have, like, ten seconds where I'm not actually playing the game. Oh, and people usually do long messages, I usually just have to stop playing the game entirely. I mean, that, that's not to say that... It's not to say that I don't want big messages or anything in chat. Just, you know, it's a thing. And when there's maths involved, <laughs> and when there's maths involved in that, then yeah. <laughs> but I, I will say, it, it was, I mean, obviously, like, I knew that talking to chat and responding to chat was a thing um, when I started becoming a streamer and everything like that, of just like, oh, yeah, the difference between let's playing and streaming is you're going to be reading all the time. Um, for extra things and like re replying to people and talking and stuff like that. But uh, it wasn't until I started streaming that I realized that it's just like, wow, this had so much more to do. <laughs> like I enjoy it so much more than um than before. Like there's not like it'd be very hard for me to go, like I mean, not very hard. It'd be impossible for me to go back to just pure let's playing without um. Uh, Twitch chat. For certain individual things, I, it would be fine. But for just, like, across the board, not having a Twitch chat anymore, there's no way I could go back. I honestly don't know how I did this shit without a Twitch chat for as many years as I did. Um, like, it just seems like such an integral part of the experience now. Um, and, like, it's why it's so fucking enjoyable. But, um, wow. It is... <laughs> It uses up so much more of your mental power um, and functions to, to do it. I got stuck on the bumper thing. Oh, sorry, my nose is very itchy. Ah, yeah, yeah, that. Ah. <laughs> I just fucked up. So now I'm just losing over and over again. Okay, that was just embarrassing. I just can't aim. <laughs> now I just can't aim. Yeah, like, there's, like, it, like, there's no way I'd ever want to go back to not being a Twitch streamer um, after doing the Twitch streams. There's no. Where is the team? Where are you? What are you doing? <laughs> what is my team doing? <laughs> Okay, several of them were just sitting extremely far away from mid, just painting the ground for extended period of time. I'm gonna leave this team. <laughs> Every time I got to mid, no one else was there. Like one person was up the top path, just painting. What are you doing? It's not her fault. <laughs> like getting special as you go there, sure, but you should still be heading at full speed towards mid and then just aiming into the parts where you can shoot to gain special. <laughs> you absolutely shouldn't just be running around trying to farm out special unless your team's already got control of mid. <laughs> or if you're like super close to getting and then you can help the rest of the team about to push for mid. Like that's how you do it. <laughs> that's how you do it. Yeah, I could never go back to not um, being a Twitch streamer, but um, it's just funny that I did... I did the LP shit where I'm just talking to myself on my own without anyone even watching um, live for like 10 fucking years. And then I went into stream. Uh, then I went to the streaming part of it and I'm just like, wow, this is like significantly more enjoyable. But oh my god, the amount of extra energy it takes. 
Which is why I can do it for longer. I can stream for longer than I could ever record on my own because of how much extra energy it requires. Which I know sounds bizarre. But like, re recording on my own, like if you've watched the channel for like a long ass number of years, I mean, you'll, you'll notice that my amount of time that I do things is just steadily increased more and more and more and more and more as time's gone on. Um, but, uh, at the start, like for long periods of time, like when I got to the point where I was just like, I mean, cause at the start, I like my recording sessions were like 20 to 30 minutes long. And then I'd stop the video and I'd start again. I'd normally have like either do a bunch of those in a row and have like a little bit of a break in between or just straight up, yeah, I'll just, I'll record for 25 minutes today. That's my entire thing, right? And I did that for a really, really long time. And then I went to, all right, so I can do more of it. I'll, I'll do like two hours and then I'll divide that into like the multiple videos. This is back when I was still trying to like make every video like the, um, 30 to 40 minutes. I think that I only gave up on about a year ago. <laughs> but I'd be like, okay, record for two hours. That gives me three 40 minute videos. And I'd get to the end of that two hours and I'd just be like, whew, I'm done. There's no way I can like talk um, for longer than that. And now like, if I, like a two hour stream nowadays is like incredibly short for me. Like three, uh, like, I mean, Splatoon's an exception. Like I, like these Splatoon streams where I'm just playing multiplayer. These are extra streams. I do these on the day after I do my grocery shopping and stuff like that. So like, I'm gonna be only going for about two hours today. Because these are just extras that I chop on everything. But I point out that it's like one of the only three streams I'll do this thing. Um, life's fucked. <laughs> my body's fucked. Everything's fucked. But um, like a two hour stream that I do for Splatoon now is like incredibly short. Even three hours. If I only stream for three hours, that's like pretty short for me nowadays. And I usually go for longer. Hell, my, F my Final Fantasy 14 streams on the weekend are like six is the minimum goal for that. And it usually goes for longer. Um, except for recently because I've been busy. Wow, that was a, that was a fucking stomping. Wow, that was a stomping. <laughs> but yeah, despite how much longer I go for now, this current stream has been around one hour. Yeah. Yeah, and this is like back, back fucking six years ago. The idea of me doing something for an hour was fucking ridiculous. Like, there's no way I'd do that. But despite how much longer I'd go for in a single session now compared to what I used to, um, it's more, like, it's more exhausting on a per minute basis now than it was before. But yet it's easier to do those long sessions. I mean, that's the type of person that I've always, well, I, I say always, ever since, like, I was 16 or 17. Ever since I was about 16 or 17, which is, um, basically whenever I moved out of my father's place. How much more I opened up as a person socially and stuff like that ever since I moved out of my father's is ridiculous. Um, <laughs> and, th and things like that. Probably because I didn't have to abide by his expectations of who I was as a person, and I could just be my own fucking person. And then, surprise, surprise, I was willing to actually want to be around people. Fucking weird, that. But, um... <laughs> How I've always been as a person is I, I'm like extrovert to the definition of the amount of like social energy that I have is based on the environment around me. The more energy the environment has around me, the more energy I have, which is why I try to be a person who never slows down in any capacity. Like my exhaustion has been really bad for us. Um, I mean, nine months because my cluster episode has been gone for about nine months. But my exhaustion's just been getting worse and worse now, um, as that time's passed. But for the last, like, three weeks, it's been particularly bad. And I've noticed that the days where my exhaustion is less are the days where I can consistently do something the entire day. The days where I let myself slow down for an extended period of time are the days where um, I end up more exhausted. It's just how I am as a person. So despite it being, like, it, it uses more energy, right? Um, to do streaming and everything like that. Like, I can feel myself more parched, more hungry, and everything like that, right? So more physical energy in terms of, like, <laughs> actual body um, burning, um, bur burning energy and um, um, kilojoules and stuff like that to pro um, process everything. Despite using all more of that, it's so much fucking easier mentally. 
and it's also mentally exhausting because it's like you know talking and reading and playing a game constantly for several hours straight without much pause um by the way did we just fucking crush this yet again no no don't let him capture it don't let him capture it don't 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 no okay so you can see there yeah 75 percent of how much time you did because yeah we gained it was uh we had like 90 odd um like 94 seconds and then it was 72 so yeah it's 75 percent that's just a, that's a much easier way of describing it that's a much easier way of describing it it's 75% of however much time you just had. Um, you just, um, you, um, did. Um, is there a chance we can join the match with the whole, um, uh, FCs? Um, oh, do, oh, sorry. Sorry, Matt. I'm, i so sorry. No, you're more than welcome to join. You're more than welcome to join. I thought you already had my friend friend. Sorry. Sorry. I totally forgot. No, uh, after this, for, um, yell at me and scream at me and, um, say slurs. Um, that, uh, chill to say in a Twitch chat. Um, so the gay ones, uh, no, 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 don't get mad push for it. But um, no, just um, scream at me. Um, um, I'll just put my friend on the screen right now, like I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I don't have thousands upon thousands of viewers, so it's not like if I put it out that I'm just going to get bombarded with requests. No, sorry, I, no, more than welcome to join. More than welcome to join. I just figured you hadn't joined because, um, you weren't, um, able to play or anything. Um. Lamau! Booyah! Fucking lol. Uh, okay. Okay, well, I'm completely out of Yeah, no, I'm on that one, though. No, I've just- I've had a lot of people just, um, pop in and out during streams lately that I- I thought that I had already, like, given it wrong, yeah, but, um, yeah. I don't- yeah, you're not in the Discord, so, yeah, you may not understand it, though. My bad! My bad. Memory bad. But yeah, it's just- yeah. But despite how much more- Social energy and physical energy it requires nice to be a streamer. It's amazing how much easier it is to have enough energy to keep going It, it is kind of ridiculous how much having the chat there. Yeah. Also, if you fucking there it is <laughs> There it is. There it is actual influencer. What a fucking name actual influencer Fuck yeah <laughs> That's one hell of a name. I love it um, yeah, having the chat be there when you do this stuff, it's amazing how much that adds to the experience. It really is. Like, the whole Let's Playing concept is a thing that I've, like, always wanted to do. I've been doing it since I was, like, 14. Uh, profile, here we go. There, there, there we go. There's my sex worker number. Have I already played Splatoon 3 for 115 hours? Fuck me. <laughs> really? Holy shit. Holy shit, I've played Splatoon 3 for 115 hours. Okay, to be fair, probably like 15 of those hours have been idle, but still, holy fuck. By the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to also add me. I don't mind. <laughs> and if you ever see me playing on my, if you ever see me playing this on my own, you're always more, um, you're also always more than welcome to join. I don't mind. I don't mind for playing with people at any time. Is Thick online? Is Thick online? No, Thick's not here. Where's Thick? Where'd Thick go? Where's Thick? There's Thick. There's Thick. Thick was the fucking uh, awesome squad mate during um, the um, <laughs> basically when I became a junior main during the Splatfest. Title: Krusty Krab named No Patch. <laughs> fucking incredible. Fucking incredible. Was that someone that we were fighting against just then? That's amazing. With brands, our creative room. There we go. There we go. I gotta say, playing Spy Zones is fun. I think a big, I think a big part of it for me for like getting into um, playing ranked is finding weapons that are really for me. Because like, the main weapon I've always used is arrow spray, and arrow spray is very niche when it comes to um, playing uh, ranked. Though <laughs> we are in Splat Zones, so I guess it's kind of it works for that. 
And of course you got your blob lover. Blob lover is so fun. It's just a fun fucking weapon. It's just a really fun weapon. I know people want another set for Blob Lover, because right now Blob Lover's entire thing is ink coverage, because it's fucking sprinkler and ink storm. But for splat zones, that's kind of perfect. <laughs> Blob Blobber works really well for splat zones and uh, tough, I guess. Oh, the fucking hive up about the internet. The new fucking arrow spray. Oh, oh. Turf War Meta, here we fucking go. Is that, is, uh, that's the set, right? For the new Aero Spray? It's the same as the Blob Lobbers. Sprinkler and Ink Storm, right? I think it is. I'm fairly confident it is, um, the, um, the Sprinkler. Because they've been, they've been announcing it on, um, uh, Squid Research Lab lately. Whoa, my neck. I'm so, I'm so curious about the Splash Lock Nova. Like, what rate it does. Oh no, Booyah Bombs! No, Booyah. Okay, that's also very good. Uh, that, that, yeah, that's also. Yeah, yeah, Booyah and um, Sprinkler. Booyah and Sprinkler. Honestly, considering the weapons that I've been playing, it would be really hard for me to go to a weapon whose sub isn't a bomb. <laughs> Because everything I. Uh, Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ, they're Clash Blaster. Fuck me. Um. <laughs> now, basically, every weapon that I've been playing, like, any amount of uh, extensive time in this game, has been fucking ends up Aerosplay and Junior. And all of them have a bomb. Like, just a bomb that you just throw and it explodes. Ink Strike just straight counts as bubble. Nice. Is that even the name of it? Is the name of it? Is the name of it even Bubbler? <laughs> Isn't the big Bubbler the fucking net thing that you swing around? Is that even a, that's not a special in this game, is it? That's a Splatoon 2 one. Where have I seen it lately? Oh, the fucking Agent 3 fight. Super boss. <laughs> yeah, Bubble is one of the phases in that. The shield thing. The thing that Junior's had some variation of since the start. Alright. Well, this went very well. Oh, yes! Oh, never mind. Okay, we have a chance now. We have a chance now. This team is... The team we're fighting against is hyper-aggressive. It's kind of terrifying. Honestly, that's the biggest hard counter to my playstyle. <laughs> my my playstyle in this game... Oh, my God. My playstyle in this game is very much focused around just like holding the back line and just not letting them pass. But uh, when a team is like super aggressive and just constantly goes for it, very, very difficult to, uh, for me to get past that. We're in control! Woo! I'm just gonna stand up here and just. Card! Card! Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this thing. Fuck me. Again, hyper aggressive. I just feel like they're always on you. The air spray got me. Should be ashamed. I gotta jump in more. Yeah, as, as much as I'm still liking the junior, and I think it's still going okay in this mode, it's... I feel like it's a lot harder for me to play... Damn it. I feel like it's a lot harder for me to play to my typical gameplay style for the junior in this mode, compared to, uh, just so forth. <laughs> that team, they were so aggressive. It felt like they were always there just bombarding the shit out of you. Which they did have an X-Plus run two blasters, so that does make sense, but still, holy fuck. Big Sky Fried Chicken. What a... 
God, the oh god, the splash tag system in this game is so good. I didn't realize how much I would love the splash tag system in this game, but I really do. I really do adore the ever loving fuck out of the splash tag system in this game. I mean, obviously with the game being out for as long as it is now, a lot of the talk of like people who have stuck with Splatoon for as, um, like this time. Wonder how matchmaking works on this. Consider, uh, well, what's your ranking? Cause I'm like B minus. <laughs> Because if it's anything like we did when we did Salmon Run, S plus, oh, oh, well if you lose too many matches because I'm bad at video games, you're going to go down to a fucking A minus by the end of this stream, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, because I imagine like if we're going against, um, so that's be how I got, got there. I mean, I know how I'm on B minus. I've not played enough to go uh, to go above that. Well, <laughs> so, you know, one of the one of the modes that's not splash zones might actually be better than the way I played Junior. Um, <laughs> like it might be easier to um, like push a line with like Rainmaker, <laughs> or just control or, or, or just um, control area around the tower. But with the way Splat Zones works, maybe maybe not that. I was playing after I got the badge. Understandable. Understandable. Now, speaking of the badges, now, yeah. The the thing I was going to say. I, I know it's obviously like... Like the talk of like what makes the game good or where, where the faults are for the game now. That was a random... That shouldn't have a <laughs> I often start by just, wow. I often start by just throwing out a random splat bomb. Just to make it a little bit harder for the other team to approach. But it's quite literally just toss it into the fray to try and stop, to just try and slow down um, or negate their movements a little bit. It's never intended to kill. And it absolutely shouldn't. Oh fuck. Did the wave break kill me there? Okay, yes. Does the wave breaker do contact damage? Because I may have walked into it just then. Because <laughs> I don't think I got hit by a wave on it. <laughs> it's not on the teammates room. This is not going great. Are we going up against people who are S plus as well? Because because you're S plus, am I actually the one being dragged along with you? <laughs> not you're being dragged along with me? Because this may not go well. Well, I mean, if that's the case, then they're bad at the video game! Did I kill it? Uh, so, didn't I kill that jo the, the Scorcher there? I did. Did I throw it? Now you're there! Fuck. If I'm being dragged along with you, because I'm seeing other people have the badge as well. Uh oh. Uh oh. You being here make, make my life a lot harder. Right. If we win, if you're here and we win and I gain like a hundred points, then we know what's happening. Then we know what's happening. I just assume that we're gonna lose at this point, so I'm just running in solo. Yeah, I should. Yeah, it's a team game. It's a team game, so I should play with the team and run in with the team. Yes. But I also figured that we're just gonna lose when there's like five seconds left, so just whatever. <laughs> if you being here is making me go against people who are actually good at the game, that's a problem. <laughs> if people here are now actually good at the game, then this is an issue. Cause like they've got the S and S plus badges there, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's what those ones are. Because I think A plus is the one that just looks like the normal symbol, the orange um, and black one. And then it's silver and gold for S and S plus. I believe that's how it works. So... 
Because it doesn't say anyone else's rank here. So, I'm, I'm slightly scared. I'm slightly scared. <laughs> or maybe it's... Maybe it's Nintendo. Maybe there's no matchmaking in the first place and nothing fucking matters. This is also possible, keep in mind. It is Nintendo. I feel like we're making a bold assumption by assuming that it matchmakes in the first place and it doesn't just randomly put you with, with fucking whoever. That feels like the most likely scenario. There's, what, that Nintendo don't have any form of matchmaking and they just put whoever with whoever? That one? Because I would, I'd buy that. I'd buy that in a fucking heartbeat. I looked hard mode for you, thanks. Thanks, now I have to actually be good at the video game as, as opposed to beating on a bunch of 10 year olds. Thanks. At least you're blah blah, so I don't feel obligated to switch over to this, so we have at least one extra. What's back on Hagglefish? I feel like I can manage Hagglefish way easier than the markets. Hagglefish, they're gonna approach me from a front or behind? Museum, they can approach me from literally every fucking side. Front, back, above, sides. They can approach me from any angle on this, so. Everyone's wearing my boots. Yeah, my boots. I probably got them after most other people, but everyone's wearing my boots. Everyone's copying my fit. How dare they. Actually, you know what? Now that Off The Hook's playing, I'm now realizing the single most important question about chill season. When chill season happens, I'm realizing the most important question that hasn't been answered. When do we start getting new music? When will new tracks be added? Because I'm now realizing, I don't know we if we have an answer to that. I don't think we have an answer of when new music's gonna come in. Like, I like the music in this game a lot, but also, I think Splatoon 3 has like nine tracks at the moment <laughs> for multiplayer. It's, I think, three bands. <laughs> like, there's, C there there's Seaside, there's Off the Hook with um, Damp Socks, and I think there's one more. And there may be eight or nine tracks for multiplayer at the moment, <laughs> but aren't now or never, or the, uh, the, the Deep Cut Splatfest ones. I feel like we could do with some more tracks. So will Chill Season add in new music too? Because I could really... Like, don't get me wrong. I love the music that's in the game. And I, it, it makes me so happy to hear Pearl and Marina during just normal fucking gameplay. But! But! I also like the music. <laughs> it's kind of one of the exciting things about whenever Splatoon adds new music. You never know what the fuck you're gonna get. Like, it's not even a case of just, oh, what's it going to sound like? How the song's going to be? Like, no, your, your questions can go as far as, what fucking genre is it, is it going to be? Because even that's an unknown. <laughs> Are we going to get fucking jazz? Are we going to get fucking mathcore? Okay, mathcore is fucking um, salmon run. So, <laughs> you know, unless I make a three going to stop the weeks. Um... Actually, I wonder if, I wonder if, I wonder if Omega 3 will have, like, new music for a big break. That, that could be possible. Everything is fucked! Welcome to fucked population shit! Get out of here, Flingzer. Flingzer, die! That's a blob blob, but that's not the Flingzer. <laughs> There's the Flingzer. And yeah, we need to be fucking shit. That's what we need. Sorry, this is, un this is unfair right now. They're asking me to play and pay attention and do well while there's lesbians in the music right now. Ah, uh, gotcha. I can't even see what's happening right now. This map is really hard for Splat Zones, I'm realizing. <laughs> this entire middle structure means I have no idea what the fuck is going on. Very, very bad at playing around the- I mean, to be, to be fair, to be fucking fair, in normal turf form Museum Delfonso, I'm also terrible at this map because of this middle structure. This middle structure completely fucks me. 
because it makes it so much harder for me to tell what is happening where. The maps that are the hardest for me in Splatoon are the ones where um, the, uh, um, your enemies have way more options of approach. I'm good at your maps that are that really funnel everything in. Like fucking Hammerhead or Undertow. Because <laughs> those are a fucking funnel. And even if they have multiple approaches to the funnel, it's still a fucking funnel. Thematic ink storms, I swear to god. Oh, we added a lot of time to this that time. Ow! I, okay. <laughs> I didn't even see the blobs until I was already dying. I'm like this. Because I can't be in the. <laughs> oh my god, the blobs. Because I can't be in the front lines, it might be an idea for me to switch to everyone. Like if I'm if I'm down in the thick of it down there. Because my weapon has short range, so for me to hit anything, I've got to be in the thick of it. I can't see anything that anyone else is doing, because there's too much shit going on. And too many directions for it going on. So me holding back is probably easier for me. So it might be worth it to switch to a different weapon. No! No! This is why I don't play ranked. This is why I don't play ranked. Because I lose almost every single match I play in ranked. I'm very bad at it, because I'm not experienced. Like, at least my win- like, game- game hard. Also me bad. Also just have to remember, I'm very bad at Splatoon. I'm incredibly god-awful at this game. <laughs> Primarily because I can't aim. I will never be good at aiming in this game. Which is just how it's going to be. I, like, I'm not good at aiming in first-person shooters in the first place, um, in a multiplayer setting, where I'm having to hit, like, people who are moving and thinking and shit. Um, can I change my loadout? Can I change my weapon? Can I not change my weapon without dropping out? Does ranked not give you an option for changing your weapon without dropping? No. Why? Is the idea that because if you stick with the same team, you know team composition? Huh. Okay. I guess I'm sticking with the junior. <laughs> I'm guessing I'm sticking with the junior. Because Nintendo. I guess the idea is like, you know team composition, but also, if you can see team composition, then I feel like it would be better to be able to change your weapon to suit the team composition better. <laughs> As opposed to, you get what you're given. Because if you drop out to try and suit the team composition better, you're gonna get a different fucking team. Wouldn't that make se Wouldn't that make more sense? I swear you could change weapons in the previous one without dropping. Or I might be thinking of, um... I might be thinking of Splatfests. The KD for some of the other team, 18 to 3. Yeah, these are people who are, like, good at the fucking video game. To be fair, out of those 18, 10 of them were probably me. <laughs> 10 were probably me. Just don't put us on Museum. Put it back on Hagglefish. At least if I lose at Hagglefish, it's because I know I did poorly that particular match, as opposed to just I'm always going to do poorly at it. <laughs> Fuck six. Wait, this is Hagglefish. <laughs> I saw that it was almost... I, I saw the shape of it. I'm just like, wait, it's Museum. No, it's Hagglefish. Alright, here we go. <laughs> I like it so very easily lose. I'm not great at the game. But... I will say... I will say... I will say, unlike other times that I've done ranked, I am actually having fun right now. <laughs> I am actually enjoying the experience that I'm having. Like normally I don't, I normally don't play ranked because well, I'll lose a lot and just how it goes. I normally just don't have a fun experience. It's not fun to just lose over and over again. But I will say, I'm having the, I'm having the vibe that I'm having now that I would. Oh god, oh god, that's gonna suck. Um, I'm having the vibe that I normally have, um, with Surf War right now, but I'm having it with ranked. 
Whereas even when I'm losing, I'm having fun. What kills me? Oh, did that blow up and kill me? Ah! I can't forget any tri-stringer does that. <laughs> I was gonna say, I swear I did not see the tri-stringer fire when I died. But, um... Okay, that's what I'm about. Oh, God. Oh, I was about to say, why am I... Why do I have no ink? I'm not even get. Oh, I'm in time sequence. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. Oh god, toxic mist. Oh god, toxic mist. Okay, I can see I can see one of the mini zapplings one looks like that. <laughs> you can throw a toxic mist and as you're throwing it, charge the mini zapling and get ready to blast on someone who can barely fucking move. And now get it. Oh god. I'll kill all of you! Okay, no, I will not. No, I will not. <laughs> Did we not even capture to add to their time? Fuck. I thought we caught it for like a second to add to their time. Right, let's go. I hate people can aim it. Who, who can aim well in this game? I hate people can aim well. Now, matter, I'm not saying anything. But I'm noticing a distinct lack of win since you've joined. You definitely have put me against harder opponents. You've definitely made me fight against harder opponents. Are you losing like a shitload more points than usual? Or are you losing the normal amounts of points? Like we literally haven't won once. <laughs> are you losing the normal amount of points that you lose for an S plus or are you losing like significantly more? Because if you're losing significantly more then it means we're fighting people on my level. But if you're losing the normal amount, it means you're we're probably going up against people who are your level. And I'm just not going to lose anymore because, well, I'm already lo only losing two to begin with. Because I don't think there's been a win since you- Because like, if we win and I gain like 16 points, then I, then I know I'm going above my pay grade right now. <laughs> Seems that way, no, the, no uh, the normal amount, like five points. Even on S plus, a loss is only five. Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. I figured it, I figured it S plus open might have some stakes, but no, apparently still not. Apparently still not. Okay. <laughs> open. <laughs> Bring the low one up seems more logical than um, um, ring the higher down. That's how, the thing is, bring the higher one down, that's how Salmon Run works. That's what I don't get. Salmon Run brings the higher person down. So I'm very, so I'm confused that it's the other way around in this. I mean, it, it does, it does make more sense for ranked because it's competitive. So you, so you can't just go, oh, I'm a low level person. Let me bring in my fucking like elite pro person at the game to just crush all these fucking other B minus people. That does make more sense. And I guess because, um, I wonder if it depends on who hosts the lobby. I'm hosting this one. I'm hosting this lobby, so yeah, I made this lobby, so it's not, it's not bringing it to mine because I'm hosting it. And it makes sense to bring it down to the lowest person for Salmon Run, because if you have a, if you have like three people who are very good and then one person who's not that great at Salmon Run, and they get brought into a purely cooperative experience, then they're going to be like, yeah. I guess that does make sense. It does make sense if I'm being brought up. Though that being said, even if I'm brought up, it's possible that a win for me doesn't gain me any extra. That is possible. What the fuck is happening on the screen right now? Hey, wait a minute, I'm just now realizing they've got full fucking blob lovers. What the fuck? What the fuck? They have four blob lovers. What the fuck is this? Oh fuck. I was gonna say, I saw the amount of shit that I saw on screen, I'm just like, wait a minute, is that entire thing just like, and then it's like, yup, no, literally the entire enemy team is blob lobbers. <laughs> what the fuck? I can just look at the screen, there's just blobs everywhere, it's ink storming, they got sprinklers going. What the fuck? What the fuck? I think the. <laughs> what the fuck? 
like? I think the amount of blobs they have are genuinely dropping the frames at points. What the fuck? What the fuck? Look at that shit! What is that? It's apparently not that dangerous because we're still ahead, but... <laughs> well, there's a lot going on, but it's a, it's a lot of... Oh, it's not. It's a lot of slow-moving bullets. So at least it's like, they'll be able to sneak it up behind you and insta-killing you, but what the fuck? <laughs> I just look at that! Just look at the Oh god, oh god. The amount of ink storm, this, the ink storm's honestly the roughest part about this. This is a bit, this is a map where ink storm works very effectively. Because, god, there's not really any way to stand in the middle and not get hit by an ink storm if there's one, if there's even one going. Look at, look, they've got sprinklers everywhere? Oh my god. What the fuck is happening? Oh god, the block. The ink storm! The ink storm is so annoying! Fucking hell! How is this a. How is this a meta? How is four blobs a meta? What the fuck? Wow, that it really is just oppressive in splat zones, isn't it? Oh my god, there's just... Just anywhere you go, there's damage fucking sources. There's just damage sources everywhere! What the fuck is this? What the fuck? Just anywhere you stand, you're gonna be hitting by ink storm or blobs or sprinklers. What the fuck was that? What the fuck? I couldn't even because I laugh so hard. Fucking hell. Oh my god. <laughs> That's just the meta for Splat Zones, apparently. Please let me get to Catalog level 100 on a win. Please let me get there on a win. <laughs> We've lost like five matches in a row. I'd like to win one. I'd like to win one. We are like half an hour left of the rotation. I'd like to win one in that zone. The idea is when the rotation ends. That's when the stream will start. That's the plan for today. I think that's the, I think like because the first ranked stream that we did was um mix mix and match um for a bunch of different modes, and I think for turf war like having the um stream like halfway through the stream the rotation changes is all right because you know turf war is pretty basic so getting a bunch of different maps is a thing. But I think for ranked in the future, if I do a stream of ranked, I want it to all be a single game mode for the whole thing. Like we stick with just open all series and just do that and try to get like a whole two hour rotation in there. So we're just focusing on like one gameplay mode. Because last time we were bouncing between like, oh, we're doing tower. Oh, now we're doing, um, um, glam blitz. Like we'll swap them between them a lot. But this gives me a focus of just like an idea. Oh God, they're back. Oh God, they're fucking back. Why are they back? Is this a different group of four blobs? Look at the look at the fucking screen. Look at the fucking screen. No, this is the same group. It's Winnie. It's the same fucking group. Oh my fucking god. How is this meta? How? Oh my god. Oh my god. No matter what is happening, there's some bullshit going on. There's blobs coming at me. Oh, let's, oh my god. This is... This is hell. This is what hell feels like. They're dumping up their ink storms too, so it's just like, fuck you! Ink storm damage is bad enough as it is. When you got several of them going at once, like, fuck. Alright. 
Okay, putting up the putting up the shields. I'm now realizing there's one aspect of the shield that's actually fucking me in this. And because it takes a little bit of time to deploy, some blobs will end up like because the blobs move slow, some of those blobs will still end up inside of the shield once it's deployed. Because they move so slowly. So even when the shield goes up, I'm still having I still have to dodge the blobs that are in my shield. And then I'm getting hit by it. Oh my god. Oh my god! This is hell. This is what hell feels like. <laughs> Was I splattered by a blob blubber? Really? Really? Unforeseeable circumstances. If there's, a, if there's at least something, it seems like this blob blob crew are very bad at dodging splat bombs. I think I just need to focus on splat bombs. That seems to be the thing they're bad at. <laughs> you know why they're probably bad at dodging splat bombs? Because they're filling their screen with so many goddamn fucking particle effects <laughs> that they can't actually see when I'm when I'm throwing them. <laughs> I general I they, they may not be able to see the fucking splat bombs. Because from their side, all they can see is their million blobs they've got going forward. Oh, but they're gonna get ahead now. Oh no. Oh fuck, now we have to actually capture the holding rates. Oh come on, okay. At least, okay. Stop fucking. I can't fucking handle this! <laughs> oh, they're bastards! It's just- I, it's bullshit that this works. <laughs> I mean, like, props to them for coming up with a winning game plan. I feel like the game winning game plan should be a little bit more involved than just four blob lobbers and just blob lobbers all over the blob lobs. <laughs> yeah, individually, they're actually not that hard to kill. They just have so much shit going on at any given fucking moment. But you can't get a fucking in. But even when we capture it, we do not hold it for long. Because they've just got so much power of coverage. Like, okay. <laughs> I, how, how, how. These motherfuckers are holding down back, and boy howdy, do they have a sonic boom and a flash kick at the moment. Fucking hell. Because it's just impossible to get in! Ah! I... What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? We were so close to at least getting a timeout instead of a knockout. Toxic Rick, that's fucking right. I swear we go up against them again. <laughs> hey, we go up against them again and we win? It's gonna feel so sweet. I've lost so many matches in a row now. I wanna win one! <laughs> Thing is, if we make it a timeout on the next one, then at least, at the very least, I'll hit catalog level 100. I would have liked to have hit it on a win. Though I don't know if that's going to be possible at this rate. <laughs> Considering we're going up the four against the four blob lovers of the apocalypse. <laughs> so sorry. I'm apparently... Well... <laughs> what, you've, what you've done is taken me out of the frying pan and into the depths of hell that is actually good players at Splatoon. <laughs> How dare you? You're making me have to actually be good at the video game to win? Unacceptable. Unaccept- Watch that we're somehow still fighting again. I mean, we can't- 
we can't we, we can't be fighting against still be um beats. We've seen multiple people have the S plus badge. We've seen multiple people with that. Though there are people without it. And I feel like if you get an S plus badge, you probably want to brag about it. So you put it on your splash tag. The topic I was talking about, like, way earlier, like half an hour ago, and I totally forgot about it. It's a different team, thank fucking god. Uh, thank fucking god. We have a chance of winning this. Oh, not a single blob lover in sight! Oh, god, I'm so happy I could come. Um, no, I think I was talking about before. Um, yeah, game's been out for like three months now, so a lot of the discussions about, like, the quality of what's good, what's bad, what needs improving in Splatoon 3. It's obviously, like, all devolved into, like, the metas and stuff like that, of just, like, these are the maps that, like, have weird spots. They should be fixed. These are the weapons that are, like, currently dominating the meta. These are weapons that need a buff. These are weapons that need a nerf. And, like, that's obviously what, like, a lot of the conversation around Splatoon gets to. And that's just, like, you know, it. I saw that way too late. And, like, obviously, that makes sense. Competitive game, been out for a while, and stuff like that. But, because so much of, like, what I've always enjoyed about Splatoon is the social experience, I really do think that it's just, like, even outside of gameplay... Oh, I thought the blue person died. Splash is still kind of shaking the butt. Um, because the social experience has always been such an important part of Splatoon for me and, I think, the success of the game, the amount of player expression and with the customization in the game, it, it helps so much. It helps so much. Like, it's... Because now when we go up against people in multiplayer, it's not even just a case of seeing how they deck out their characters and what they look like. You get to see their splash tags, like... Um, what people call themselves Blahaj and stuff like that. Like, you get to see that. Um, what aesthetic they're going for. Like, you got the grungers who are just, like, yeah, black and white one, um, black and white, um, backings of, like... Hard edge or whatever and stuff like that, which is, you know, me. Um, and stuff like that. You got people who are just making funny jokes or just, like, really cool combinations with, like, the combinations of the titles they get and stuff like that. Obviously, you can always just go out and uh, go and check out the lockers and just see, like, what, um, things people are getting up to with, like, designing their lockers. Um, just, like, the amount of extra player expression. I really love that. That's, um, like, they added so much of that in Discord 3. Because it's always been important since the first one. But in the first two games, player expression went as far as how your character looked, and for the people who could draw, you splat those posts. And like how you look, like, because it's got abilities, you can be a little bit limited, though you're way less limited than this game ever before. I uh, hope you're willing to um, get the chunks and stuff um, for your appearance and um, what you want your uh, actual um, things to be. But like, if you could, if you couldn't draw in the Splatverse, or you just couldn't come up with ideas, your player expression was limited to just your outfit, which isn't bad, right? Like that's what most games do. But with how much it's the focus of like the world of Splatoon, the fact that everyone now gets like three easy accessible outlets for um, for expression with their look and their splash tag and their locker. Because then, like, it was still good. Like, it's still good what they had, um, what they had before. But now, there's so many more options for the people to express themselves and, like, what they like, um, and stuff like that, even if they can't draw. And obviously, the drawing is still a big part of it. But like, we literally spent the beginning of this looking at the new meme, which is a four-legged thing. <laughs> so, you know, it's obviously still an important aspect to it. Fuck yeah! It's amazing how when we go and get some people, like not a team of four blob lovers, how we win! Woo! And I get to win as I get to kind of look level 100. Yay! Yay! Like you can see, I got the grunge because I got all the. <laughs> look at my character and look at the fact that I've got a black and um a black and gray splash tag. It's not surprising, right? But yeah, it's just like there's so many more outlets for um, player expression now. Like, that aren't, like, explicit gameplay or appearance. No, I still gain eight. I have no idea who... Yes! Okay, now I have to drop out. Now I have to drop out, because I gotta get a new catalog. We will come back. We will come back. But I need... Actually, I guess I could have 
waited until after. Actually, maybe I should. Hey, I can just my shade. Maybe I should just wait. <laughs> Maybe I should just wait until the rotation finishes, and then I can go grab it. I was about to say I needed the new catalog, but you don't get an item every... It's every, like, ten levels, right? I think. Did I actually join you? Sorry, I'm, I'm, I've been messing around. It's like 15 minutes until the rotation ends. I can just wait until that to actually go to that. Because I was thinking, but I want to, like, level up the new catalog. Once you get the second catalogue, I believe it's only every 10 levels that you actually get something. I believe. So, it's not like I'm going to do that now. Oh no, I guess you dropped out as well. I'm joining the same team that I was just with, but you're not here now. So I guess I joined you as you left. I'm sorry, Madden. I've, I've, I've messed up everything and I made it confusing. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. I was like... Because joint opponent is here. This is because we were just playing with, so... My bad! My bad. Oh! I saw that. I dropped out as soon as you did. Whoops. I was still able to join you. So I still joined the same group of people. So, I, like, I joined in the same room. Yeah. Sorry. I'm futzing about because I'm not thinking about it. I was thinking, oh, i got to level up the next catalog. It's every 10 levels. I probably won't get 10 levels of catalog done before the end of the season. So it literally doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm being dumb. I'm being dumb. Alright, bro, I went out on a win. I could have ended the session there. I could have ended the session there and gone out on a win. But yeah, well, I mean, like, the fact that we're looking at the... Like, I feel like I've hardly played Splatoon 3, right? I feel like I've, I've gone a long time without playing Splatoon 3. Like, there's been, like, there's been, like... In the three months since it's come out, there's been, like, some weeks where I go the entire week and I don't touch Splatoon 3 at all, right? Like, that's that's happened a couple times, um, and things like that. There's a number of days where I just don't boot it up at all. But I feel like I've hardly played the game compared to how much I want to play it. Um, right now, lol. Did my bomb get that person on the roof slider? Hilarious. But I feel like I haven't played this anywhere near as much as I wanted to, right? In the three months since it's come out. And yet I've still put 115 hours into it. It hasn't been three months. <laughs> I will search for your locker and judge you harshly. No! Part of the point of this episode is I'm getting to level 30 so my lock is bigger so I can actually fit everything in there. I was trying to fuss around with my locker on the last stream that we did and I can't fit everything in there. I'm just wait. I'm waiting for my bigger locker to uh, make it... Whoops, I didn't mean to fall off there. So I can improve it. <laughs> it's in an unfinished state right now. I hit level 30 today, so that's uh, at max capacity, by the way. But no, I, I think that says something about how much I am enjoying just Splatoon in general, but like, how much I am really enjoying Splatoon 3. In that, I feel like I haven't played it anywhere near as much as I want to, and I've still put 115 hours into it in the three months since it's released. And I'm just, and I and I feel like I'm not playing, like, and I feel like, damn, I can play it more. I just haven't, because of the busyness and stuff like that. So I think it says a lot about how much I've been doing it. I mean, at this point, I've already more than doubled how much I played Splatoon 1. <laughs> I played Time for Splatoon 1 like 40 hours. This is primarily... This is primarily because of how shit my internet was back then. So I just... I think it's around 40 hours. I think when I looked at my Wii U last time to save, like, how much did I actually play Splatoon 1? Oh, like, 40 hours. I, I barely touched that fucking game. <laughs> Considering how much of that would have been story and amiibos and Splatfests. <laughs> Probably hardly touched Splatoon 1. But I had very bad internet back then. Australia had very bad internet back then. Australia still has very bad internet. Even now. But I have some of the best internet you can currently get in Australia. So, which is why this is possible. I mean both playing Splatoon 3 and or streaming. I mean both. <laughs> There's no way I'd be able to stream um, without the um, improved internet compared to um, what I used to fucking have. Hell, even Splatoon 2 was that. Even Splatoon 2 um, was a fair bit of... Um, I didn't play anywhere near as much as I wanted to because of terrible internet. Uh, there's been... I, like, I've 
picked up both of the previous games, like when they come out, and I'll like I'll do videos on like a couple Splatfest, a couple like weapon releases and stuff. And then both of the previous ones have had a moment where I've dropped off and I'm just like, I'm not doing videos on even the Splatfest anymore, and I just stop playing it. But for both previous games, that's been primarily because of internet. Because it just gets to a point where I'm just like, I don't want to play anymore. Every time that I'm playing the game now, I'm experiencing nothing but dropouts because my internet is terrible. This is the first game that has come out in the time since I've had good internet. Like, does it mean Splatoon 2 was 2017? Because I did not have good internet back then. I think, like, because it's um, NBN, National Broadband Network. Uh, which is still nowhere near as good as what it should be because it was deliberately sabotaged by a conservative government. Quell, quell surprise. But, um, <laughs> it's still seemingly better than what we had before. And I think that was rolled out here like 2019, 2018. I think it was, or was it early? No, we had, no, we had it before the pandemic hit. So I think it was 2019 that we finally got it. It's taken like a long last time to roll out across like, the country, and I think we got it in 2019. Which, like, even by that point, I think Final Fest had happened for. Um, but you know, no, no, Final Fest, I don't think happened. For, I, th I think Final Fest was two years since we turned to again. So it would have been like. We would have had MBM like fly Final Fest. Ah! You're not on my team! What are you doing here? Get out of here! Get out of here! I swear, I'll have videos in the future where I'm not just using the junior all day. I'll find another weapon I have to fixate on at some point. I swear. Like the Nautilus! Or, oh, because I hit level 30 today, I have unlocked the ballpoint. So I'll find which- actually, it won't be the ballpoint. I know it won't be the ballpoint. I'm pretty sure the ballpoint has a fucking terrible set right now. Though I believe so does the Nautilus. I don't think either of them have good sets right now. Or at least, I think one of them has ink, um, inkjet, and I basically refuse to use weapons that have inkjets. Because I'll never do good, like... Some special- Alright, that was terrible. That went- that went ferociously. Ferociously? What the fuck did I mean to say there? What the fuck did I mean to say there? I don't even know. Horrendously! That's what I meant to say. Ferociously? What the fuck? Fire, what? <laughs> What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, I refuse to use weapons with inkjet. Other specials and stuff like that, even if I'm not great with them, I can do something with them. Like, I cannot aim the Trizooka for fucking dick shits, right? I'm terrible at aiming the Trizooka. But at least if I fire the Trizooka in the general area where there's a bunch of assholes, it will at least tell them the fuck off, right? So I can at least get that out of it. <laughs> I can at least assist my teammates by firing the Trizooka in the general vicinity where they're fighting and it will help. Inkjet? Nope. Inkjet doesn't have enough range to do that, so I have to get up close and personal. And I cannot aim a blaster at the best of times. And Inkjet is, what if aiming blaster was harder? So, I think the ballpoint currently has Inkjet. Or well, maybe it's the Nautilus. I feel like one of them has Inkjet right now. So I basically just, even if I get it, I'll refuse to fucking touch it. Because I will never be good with Inkjet. That's just never happening. Uh, I'm never going to be good with any Blaster in this game. I can foresee a possibility of me doing half okay with a Charger. Not a fucking Blaster. <laughs> At least with Chargers. While well, you do have to, like, aim at the thing that you want to hit the moment you let go of the button, which is why I'm bad at any weapon that what functions like that, which is, you know, only blasters, chargers, some splatlings, dualies, um, um, splatanas, um, umbrellas, and stringers. Um, so it's only those category of weapons that I can't play, right? At least for the fucking charger, when you let go of it, the ink fires pretty goddamn quick to go to its location. Where blasters are, press the button. <laughs> Never gonna hit something with that delay speed that fires as slow as charges do. Never, ever, never, ever, never have I ever, ever hit a player character with a charger. Clash Blast is the exception. You know why it is. <laughs> 
I haven't tried Clash in this again. I have it. I think I bought it. Like, I think I got it with the Sheldon license. But, um, I think by the time I got it, I've been hyper fixated on the, the um, Junior. And I just wanted to get good at the Junior. So I don't think I've touched it since. But I can try Clashes. Because Clashes are just another one of those cases of just super area uh, areas enough by just firing um, by just like firing it in a general person's direction. Just got that. Yeah. Uh, I feel I see people just like use the normal range blaster, or any of the like rapid blaster pro, or just the normal fucking blaster, and I'm just like, what the fuck? How do you do that? That's not real. That's not real. Again, I'll never be good at aiming in this game. I just never will be. And I'm fine accepting that. I'm fine accepting that. <laughs> I'm fine accepting that aiming is never going to be much wrong in this game. That's why I find weapons. That's why it's part of the reason why Splatoon rules so hard. You don't have to be good at aiming to actually be effective at shooting in this fucking game. <laughs> this is why backline works. Hmm. What role do I... Hmm. I'm terrible at aiming. What role should I play in Splatoon? How about the role that focuses primarily on shooting the grounds? You're a fucking genius! And lo and behold, did I become a Splatter Shot Junior Man. <laughs> oh my god, we were so fucking close. We were so goddamn close. Um. <laughs> but I will say, the biggest thing that has improved my skill um, at Junior in this game. Um, I've always liked Junior. I've liked Junior since the first one as well. I mean, again, you can see how it functions and work out immediately why. It's not a mystery. But, I think the reason that I've been doing so much better with the Junior than any other weapon in this game is the fact that I'm actually getting good with snipers. Not necessarily at immediately killing with them. Not necessarily with kill- I mean, sometimes. Sometimes, right? How'd that person not die? I swear I shot him like five times in the head. But I just, I, I, I feel like I've been um, getting better at throwing out splat bombs in ways that actually disrupt the enemies and force them into bad positions. I mean, there's definitely been some matches where I've just been throwing out the splat bombs. I'm getting a lot of kills with them. Or I'm throwing out splat bombs and just really um, assisting teammates um, make approaches um, because of the way they've been um, going out. But that being said, the enemy's defensive wall right now is incredibly irritating. Come on, just need to just need to gain control for like a second and it works. Come on! Come on! No! Come on, please, 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 please. No! Just let us get control for a second! Come on! Oh! How did that never fall into our control? How did that never fall into our control? I swear we had like 80% of the zone covered multiple times. Come on. Ah. Oh, I swear we were so close. Like if we just took control of it for like a second, it would have added a bunch of time to this. And we would have had a fucking chance. Ah. There's still, okay. Man, you're not here anymore. And there's still multiple people I'm going against with S plus badges. I think we are correct. I just don't think matchmaking exists in this game. I don't think matchmaking is real. <laughs> I just don't think it's part of what the game... I don't think the game considers it. <laughs> I don't think the game has anywhere in the code written into it that actually considers the ranks of people to before they put them against each other. Because, Bannon, you're not here now. You're not in the lobby with me. And yet there were still multiple people there who had, like... A or S or S plus um, ranking badges on their splash tags. And you can't even say it's because of game mode. Because they got rid of that delineation in uh, Splatoon 3. Because in the previous games, it was based on which game mode you were, at, um, you were in, that they had different rankings. This game is across all of them. So it's not even the case of, oh, well, I got to S plus and tower control, but they haven't done that yet in Splat. No! No! It's the same across all of them. Unless you're saying they got that badge and then dropped down to fucking B minus. I think the game just generally doesn't consider it. 
I just think the game does not give a shit uh, for who it matches with who for um, ranked. You find another lobby of four people, there you go, fight them. <laughs> it doesn't matter what rank anyone is. <laughs> it genuinely seems to be the case. Alright, this is our last one. This is our last one before the rotations is over. And, and it's museum, so we're gonna lose, but you know, it'll be fine. So, like, look how long it took me to try and kill that person, despite how much I absolutely should have had him dead to rise, because I had to drop on them at several points. <laughs> aiming is not much fun. <laughs> it's part of why I like the Aerospray. The Aerospray flies so fast, so aiming's off. Also, the Aerospray is so inaccurate when it comes to its... Oh, damn it. Normal aiming, that it doesn't really matter. They got a badge of the really smart mouse on this one that's like, made their rank go down. Very impressive mouse. Very impressive mouse. And that happened to three different players? Wow. Three different players that happened to, wow. Get rid of your fucking... No, <laughs> at least it means I do they got affected by it too. Do I have a team, by the way? I feel like I've not seen my teammates anywhere near mid. No, they're up here. I guess they're all going for long bit. Oh, there's two charges. Okay. Well, that explains some things. Okay, there was two charges on our team. There was two charges on our team. And I don't think they were very good at killing people. So that explains that loss. <laughs> Seeing how we lost and got the same amount of points, it, <laughs> it seems like it, The game just doesn't fucking care. The game does not give a shit about what rank you are. The, the ranking is just an indicator of how much you win and lose. It is not used for matchmaking. It, I don't think it is at all. <laughs> the difference will be when X battle comes in. <laughs> Would you believe it? The same house. It's all three of their houses. And leveled them all down. Very smart mouse. It's a very smart mouse. Yeah, the game does not take ranking into any fucking consideration. The exception will be when X Battle comes in. Because X Battle is its own thing. So, once X Battle happens, then, and only then, will we actually be in a situation where it matters. Uh, who are you going up against? Oh, actually, I haven't, I haven't done gambling today. Come on, gold. Well, it's purple, so that's good. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. I literally hit 30 today. Those use are useless now. Yo, I have a tall locker! Look who's rocking an even bigger locker! Hint, it's you! With all that space, you'll need more things. So here's a start. Enjoy. What is that? Oh, a photo stand! You can show off your favorite picture. Oh, that is adorable. Oh, that's adorable. Wow, this looks empty. I'm going to spend way too long after today's stream finally reorganizing my locker. Now that I finally have a bigger locker. Also, I think this is the first stream since I got it. I got the black locker! I got the black locker from um, Hotlantis. Yay! <laughs> Yay! So I gotta, I gotta spend some time reorganizing this. Actually, actually, I gotta do an edit. I gotta do an edit right now because I gotta show you all something very important that I got. Uh, let me get rid of all this. Let me put away all those. I got an item. And I got to put up. Where's my decorations? It's literally the first category, isn't it? Where is it? Where is it? I found it in the shop. What, I have five of these? Huh. Well, there you go. Uh, where is it? There it is! I got a Yuri Dojin! I got Yuri Dojin! <laughs> There's a manga in the game that's lesbians! It's probably written by Marina, considering Marina has canonically written lesbian visions about her and Pearl. Well, people could deny that it's not lesbian, but look at it, literally any frame of it, and yeah, it's lesbians. I got lesbians! I got lesbians, so lesbians are now on display in my locker. They look forward to X-Rank, but at the same time, S plus won't feel so brutal. Yeah, all the people who are on like S plus 50, at least they'll fuck off to X-Rank. So at least they'll be that. Yeah, I got lesbians. I got a lesbian book. Hey, uh, either Marana drew it or was inspired by it. Either way, gay. Either way, definitely gay because it's Marina. Either way, definitely gay. By the way, that is like literally a, 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 a canonical thing. The gay thing? Yes, but 
What I'm specifically referring to um, is uh, Marina um, drawing like um, versions, like that. Like there's a there there is a there is a Splatoon manga that is like in universe written by Marina, and it's about like her and Pearl. And there's several shots of Marina just going ah whenever she sees Pearl, and Pearl's written drawn to be the most beautiful person you've ever fucking seen. So uh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's like an actual canonical thing that like Marina draws that, and it's the same art style as that book. You see that art style actually in Octo Expansion when Marina's drawing up the battle plans to um, fight the Nils, which apparently, by the way, you can see Nils from Hammerhead. I didn't actually. We could show that off. We can go into Recon. Apparently, you can see Nils from Hammerhead. I haven't done it in game or seen it. I've just seen people tweet about it. I haven't seen a picture, so we'll also go and do that. But yeah, uh, when she's drawing up the plans to fight Nils, the Agent Eight and um Pearl pictures. Are basically the same art style. Barry the owner had another message for you. I am not going to make a heart symbol with my hands like he told me to. But he said something to the effect of, you're a great customer and please coming back. Oh my god, Barry the owner. He's Kiryu from Yakuza 2. Then he said, yo, like 30 times in a row. And I think he was doing a different dance. Not sure if I was supposed to tell you that part. Oh, you kind of look level winner. Well, here's your reward. And we got the triple deck of shades, because why not just wear three sets of sunglasses at the same time? We got a mystery box with some random stuff in there. And of course, we got the single most important thing in the game. We got the DAB! <laughs> we got the dab. And it was doing something I am legally required to call dancing. <laughs> What's in our mystery box? <gasps> Turquoise October! Oh, that's actually really awesome. I want more band. Um, I want to fill the entire front of my locker with band um, lo logos. So I got like Pearl Marina. I think I, I think um, <coughs> Squid Squad's one of the ones I put on there. So yo, Turquoise October. Nice. That's the one on the right there. It's a bunch of Octarians. The Turquoise October is the band that does the music for um, the single player. Well, I think they still do it in this game. It's Dead Fish and Octo Expansion. But I think it's still Turquoise October in this. I think they're still the ones that do Bird Bird. So, obviously, the most important thing in the world. You got everything in that catalog. Uh, wow. Well, uh, here's a new one. <laughs> got a catalog. This makes two. Keep trucking. Uh, you're definitely not trucking. Just keep after it. <laughs> Go, Harmony. Come here, welcome to Crush Station. Dang! Sheer ferociousity coming off your, sh your feet is mind bedazzling. I surrender. Ha! Just playing. But you are one fresh fiend. What can I do for you? Love harmony. <laughs> harmony. So I imagine this is all just because we're now level 30. We get more variety in these. Ah, uh, here you are. Good. Welcome to Mana Wardrobe. The day has come. You have become fresh enough to impress even me. Will you become the next great fashion icon? I will do everything in my power to make it so. So I'm pretty sure that just means our, uh, like, the options have expanded for every shot. Now that we're level 30. Yo, welcome to Nokato. Oh, sick! Never seen anyone as fresh as you. You're, like, too fresh. Are you sure you even want to shop here? Don't scare him off. Hey, Nails. And, of course, four points splatling, my beloved. What are you in the market for today? Please report that my already wide selection has widened even further. You're ready to wield the ballpoint splatling! Let me introduce you to a very special weapon. This is called the ballpoint Yeah, this, yeah, fucking fizzy bomb. Fizzy bomb and inkjet. So I'm never gonna use this until it gets a second kit. But it's here. Has a unique dual fire rate. Here's how it works. When you start firing, the battle spins super fast. Spraying everything around you with tons of ink. It's great for covering turf quickly. But once the spin slows a bit, the weapon transforms into a long range ace. You can target fire away with enemies with shocking accuracy. That's not all. Sorry, I've been watching infomercials. <laughs> the ballpoint can be paused with fire to recharge. Not all Splatlings can do that. Uh, again, that's the main feature that makes me want to use this or the Nautilus. I might use the Nautilus because it's simpler. Like, Nautilus is just one fire mode the entire... What I, what I like about the ballpoint is it's two fire modes, but it's also a lot for me to keep a track of switching between um, turfing and covering, where Nautilus is just one fire mode the entire time. With all these features, the weapon might take some getting used to. So I recommend taking it for a test run on the firing range before heading straight into battle. 
<laughs> That's why it's probably why it's level 30. It is probably one of the most complex weapons to just understand how it fucking functions. <laughs> In conjunction with Fizzy Bombs and Ink Check Special, the slowdown may not be for beginners, but it's a technical wizard's dream come true. I mean, I'm still gonna buy it. I'm still gonna buy it. Even if I don't want to use it because of the set, the kit that it has. I fucking love it. <laughs> I remember using this a lot at the, like towards the end of Splatoon 2's life cycle because it's just like, oh my god. Oh my god, it's so fun. I was pretty good with it. Well, compared to what I am with most weapons. I was pretty good with it. Anyway, we're gonna go to Hammerhead. Cause we can. Cause we can. I guess I could just change over to the ballpoint to use it while we do this, but oh well. Oh well. Level 30 with a junior. Stay, stay forever with a junior. There it is! Wow. Wow, it's literally right there, huh? <laughs> wow, it's literally right there. Wow. I just heard people talking about it. I didn't realize it was actually that easy to spot. Wow. Uh, well, there's Nils. Is there a better angle from it? Or is it actually, actually up there might be a bit better? Wow, it's literally just right there. Okay. I didn't realize it was so immediately there. Wow. Okay. Well, th yeah, there's Nils. <laughs> that is uh, a lot closer. Can I get up to that side from this side? No. Damn it! I'm gonna get a lot closer. Is there no way up there from this side? A lot of maps don't have a way to actually get up there, but that might be it. Ah, oh. <laughs> there'd be a slightly bit of vantage point from up there. But there it is. Look, ta-da! If you don't know what I'm talking about or what I'm looking at with the statue in the water, that is where the final boss of Octo Expansion is. Well, to be more accurate, that statue is the final boss of Octo Expansion. But yeah, it's just hanging out in the water there. And we had to knew it was somewhere in the water, because, like, you know, it rises out of the water and then fires an Encopolis from a fair distance. Because I believe this bridge, in one direction, is back to Encopolis, like where 1 and 2 take place. Um, and then you cross this bridge, and then over there, somewhere further, is um, uh, the Splatlands. Well, I don't know which one is in which direction. They uploaded a map of, like, where everything is. Spl Splatoon 1 and 2, like, in Inkopolis Square, um, Square and Inkopolis Plaza are relatively close to each other. Whereas Splatlands is, like, a whole thing out. But, um, yeah, there's Nils. Ta-da! I also could have brought... Can I, can I change weapons? I cannot. I guess I could have also brought a scoped charger to look at it a bit closer. But, I mean, you can see it from here. It's Nils! I don't know what that thing on top of it is. What's on top of it? I don't remember a giant thing on top of it. Though you don't stand on top of it. Oh, wait, no, 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 I remember. No, there is a giant thing on top of it. Because it looked, because it was submerged, and it just looked like an oil tanker. <clears throat> and when you first come out to the surface, you're standing on the top of its head, which looks like just like an oil rig or something out in the middle of the water. And then it rises out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so that is the... But yeah. There's that. There's a cool little detail. But we did it! We played ranks. We did kind of half decent. We ended with more points than we started. Now, is that because we gain four times as many points as we lose whenever we win? Possibly. Possibly. But... We ended, I, I had like 135 points or something at the start of this. I've now got 179. So we won a couple matches, but I actually hit level 100 on the catalog. Yeah, it's every 10 levels you get a mystery box now, so it takes a fucking while. And I hit level 30, so I got that. So I would say, all in all, a pretty goddamn successful day. And a hey, level 100 catalog reward. You know what? That's going to go in place of this. Because <laughs> it's gold. And yes, I got my Splattershot Junior badge, because of course I do. And a whole bunch of tiles and everything. But we did it! And now and now the mist is rolling in. Alright then. So that is it for Splatoon for now. Uh, the next stream will be once chill season starts. Uh, the idea is same time, basically next week. Um, I'll do a stream to like start off chill season. Where there'll be a bunch of new weapons, two new... Uh, so I think overall what's being introduced with chill season is there's three brand new weapons a roller a charger and a spider um and a new spider shot uh there's 10 um alternate kit weapons coming in 
I don't know if any of them are good. Um, and two new maps, a new catalog, a bunch of new gear. I don't know if there's anything else that's been confirmed. Again, I would like new music as well, but I'm not holding that out. <laughs> they may not drop new music for every catalog. It might be like every two catalogs or so they drop some new music, but still. Thank you all so much for watching. For a day of ranked, I think I did kind of half decently, almost okay, sort of. Until we started fighting people who were way better than me. Until we entered blob blob hell, basically. But thank you all so much for watching. Until the next time I see you, this is Version 2. Signing out.